Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, it's Amanda again and welcome back to my channel and anyone new, uh, welcome and this channel is, give you a little rundown here, it's all about Jesus and if you've never given your heart to Jesus Christ, today is the day for salvation, today is the right time to become a Christian, God bless you, that's my daughter <laughs> and hopefully God will bless you too, just give your heart to him and start your new life with Jesus Christ. We all have a special mission, plan, purpose here in this world, the short time we get here. And the only way you get your true mission, purpose, identity, all of the above, is in Jesus Christ. So make sure you do that. And thank you all for your prayers so much. I just want to say that I'm walking more and more every day. And... Um, I'm starting now to walk around the grocery stores. If you if you haven't seen my most recent videos, I had broken my foot in three places and God gave me a speedy recovery compared to what some other people get with the type of fracture I had. So some people don't even heal properly with the fracture that I had. So um, some people get screws put into their foot. So I'm praying for those people out there or whatever the struggles may be for anyone out there or for anyone watching this. Um, God is a way maker, and I appreciate your guys' love and prayers, and I just want to thank Jesus for healing me, and I'm getting better and better every day. So now I'm walking, but um, I still need to regain some strength, and I still get a little sore, but that's just the icing on the cake, you know. God, God has definitely made a way for me, and um, just wanted to... Um, you know, fill you guys in with that. Thank, thank the Lord and give him a good praise report. <laughs> and I also wanted to let you guys know about, um, if you could keep praying for me, you know, just some different new challenges I'm going through in my life and a lot of life changes. And I really, I know God already has made his decisions and everything, but if you could please pray that, um, um, that I just ex be extremely obedient and a lot of the spirit be very in tune to exactly what I need to do um, to take the right steps because the Bible says that um, God ordains our steps if we belong to him so um, the righteous man you know so please pr keep praying for me I pray for your needs also but I just wanted to let you guys know about that and sorry if I look a little crazy we've been get a lot of stuff done today and um, it's also a very hot day here in Florida. It's beautiful. Um, I'm used to Ohio weather. I'm used to cold gray skies a lot of the year and stuff. So right now I'm back out on the back porch here or um, back patio and enjoying my, my patio furniture and, you know, just, just the lovely warm weather. So anyways, just want to share. Um, a really cool dream. I did share this dream in my last video, but I shared a lot of dreams, so it might have got kind of blended in. But I had recently dreamed of Donald Trump by um, an Apopka sign. Um, it was a sign that had some other things on it, and there was some confusion in the dream. I don't know what it was entirely about, but I just know that I saw Donald Trump by um, an Apopka sign, Apopka, Florida, and that's actually on the city of where I go to church, uh, Popka, and it actually was the way the font even looks in the city logo. It's a very beautiful font. It's kind of retro or, or you know, kind of old-fashioned looking, but I kind of think he'll be visiting this area at some point or, you know, maybe visiting the church. That would be awesome to meet him or to have him attend service. That would just be so, so cool, and... Um, such a great thing in in the kingdom of God to to partake with that fellowship and um, I keep him in my prayers and I believe God has some awesome things planned for uh, Donald Trump and what he's going to do through him for this country but number one for the kingdom so that's that's the number one is um, a lot of us are into politics and everything like that that's great we have to pay attention to what's going on um, but number one is how do we build God's kingdom? And so first things first, that's what my pastor Paula always talks about. And so first we put, um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So I'm pretty sure that's the wording of the KJV. That's the Bible I read. 
And if you don't have one, you can Google it. It's completely free on your smartphone. Just type KJV, um, Books of the Bible, and try to read at least a chapter a day. You know, that's what I recommend. At least one chapter a day. Pray throughout the day. Include Jesus in as much as you can. If you're having a struggle, God sees it anyway. Just say, God, I'm, and I had to do that today. Uh, God, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with some these hardships and the feelings that are coming because of it. And... Uh, please, God, just take that from me and change my, you know, he wants us to, to um, have a transformation of our mind, right, and the way we see things and look at things. So um, that's what I had to tell him. We just be real with God because he already knows everything. So, so yeah, Donald Trump, I believe he'll be in this area at some point and hopefully visiting church. So... I figured I would just share that with you guys again as its own dream because it was really exciting. And right now I'm in this area, so very, very cool. So if it happens, I or when it happens, I should say, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I can't really take the dream any other way. So um, hopefully it's brought to my attention and I know about it, you know. So anyways, let me just read to you guys today because... I got to read in my last video. Please go check that out. Um, I shared a lot of different prophetic dreams. And I also, um, again, have been dreaming a lot of, about a lot of celebrities and um, rapture dreams. I have a lot of rapture dreams I've had. So please go check those out and be encouraged in the Lord. Yes, the Bible says in the last days be perilous times. But it also says... He also commands us to take heart because he has overcome the world. So it's to be observant of what's going on, but not to be all panicked and freaked out. And trust me, I have to stir myself, my faith up every day, stir myself up. But let's not be like panicked, lose heart, you know, fret because of evildoers. Let's just be happy in the Lord. You know, get that the joy of the Lord is our strength in Nehemiah. So please... Let's try to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read something. Now, it's just something I opened up to. Um, let me see here. Probably something from Timothy here. Let's read. Oh, we were just talking about perilous times. Well, here's chapter 3 of 2 Timothy. Um, like I said, chapter three, let's just go ahead and read the chapter together. Let's get our daily bread together. So earlier today, my children and I sat in our living room. Parents do that. Sit down with your parent, your, not your parents, your children and read the Bible and talk about it and pray together. That's what we have. You, it's a necessity. This is not just, I highly encourage it. Um, it, we have to, we must, we must teach our kids about Jesus and we must, Remind them of right versus wrong and um, edify each other. Like your children will help you too, believe it or not. My children help me all day with, um, we all sharpen one another as Christians, right? So sit down with your Bible, open it up, talk to, read together with your kids. But so we read a lot of good Psalms today. And it's so weird about the Bible. Like, I don't mean bad weird. I mean, it's awesome because it's very <laughs> shocking. Like, I'm in awe sometimes because. We read, um, we read all these different Bible scriptures, and there's, there is a lot in the Bible. There's so much, but don't forget that it's a beautiful word. It's a living word, and it's not like I've heard someone say that, oh, I've read the Bible. They, they talked about it like they read a novel. That's not, what, that's not what God's word, how it's supposed to be treated. That's not what it's about. We're supposed to keep reading the Bible. We're supposed to, it's a living word. It, it's got the ability to do all things because it Jesus was the word made flesh and with God all things are possible so this word brings healing deliverance miracles um, it creates things it, it, it brings the dead to life again anything and anything possible through God that's what this word brings and it's to be read and reread and it's amazing because I think I believe I've read a lot of the Bible, glory to God, 100%. But there's so much more to learn. 
And when you read it, it just, it really does like, oh, I never noticed that verse before. I never noticed that scripture before. And that happens to me almost every single time I read God's word. So it's moving, it's alive, it's real, it's power. It's, it's, it's the most, it's the most precious thing. So read your Bible. Don't take it for granted. Don't think, oh, it's just a boring book sitting on my bookshelf over there collecting dust. You know, oh, I've read that before. Like, don't be like that about the Bible. Definitely pick it up and read it. It's, it's really the best thing we can do, you know. Uh, it's the best thing we can do for our souls. So, But let's not just be hearers, let's be doers. So I pray that for myself again today, that I would be um, obedient, that you would be obedient, and that we would let this living word change us, that it would go into fertile soil in our hearts. Amen. So let's read chapter 3. So get your Bible out, um, and we'll get started. So it says, 2 Timothy 3. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We just were talking about that. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. And I go through this all the time. Like, definitely God... God gives us little red flags to watch out for. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. That is rampant right now. So there are a lot of people saying, Hey guys, back again. My phone died, but have to finish this chapter with you guys. So, got a little bit of charge on it now. But I don't really know exactly what part we ended on um, we're reading um 2 timothy chapter 3 we're somewhere around verse 4 so i'm just gonna go ahead and just pick up right here but it says traitors heady it's talking about people in the last days you know their attitudes and how they'll be living so it says traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such churn away um I like my baby's fussing in there, but her big sister's watching her. She's at that age, you know. I think it's okay. But it says, For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Jane... Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. So we are supposed to live holy. And that's what this is all about is um, people who, like it says, like have a form of godliness. And they might say, I'm a Christian. They might even, even be sitting in church, but they're denying the power thereof. They're not really... Um, feeling it in their heart, you know, they're kind of like whitewashed tombs, really, like the Pharisees even. So, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. So everybody will reap what they sow, um, but God is a good God. He does forgive sins and have mercy. But if people don't churn and repent, you know, God has to deal with things. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. So God is a deliverer, and um, he said he promises to deliver us from the hand of the wicked. And... This is Paul, so he's talking about all these hardships he went through. So Jesus went through, you know, the greatest suffering, which was the death of the cross. And he, he laid his life down for us so that we can be saved. So also Paul went through sufferings. Lots of people in the Bible. Those are our examples of enduring through hard times. Endure hardness as a good soldier in Christ Jesus. So, sorry, there's some dogs out here behind the privacy fence there sorry if it's a little loud but yeah we so in um, the next one's 12 it says yeah and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution 
So we're going to go through hard things. But again, like I said earlier, take heart because Jesus has overcome the world. So we will have trials and tribulations, though. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that's really happening a lot these days. And you have your scammers, your con artists, everything, you know. People just misleading people, which is still deceiving. So, yeah, that's the Bible says it's going to get worse and worse with those types of things. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of. So, and continue also, another synonym for that is endure. So, it's, he's like, no, even though all this bad stuff is increasing, even though I want you to keep going, don't ever give up. So, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. A surety in Christ is promised things. So he, his promises are yes and amen. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise into salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. So knowing the scriptures says makes you wise, brings you to salvation. So that's why it's so important to read your Bible. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Amen. So my phone doesn't really have a lot of recording time left, guys, but please leave me your prayer requests. And hopefully I'll be posting again really soon. I've been trying to post more videos. Um, had a lot of life changes, broke my foot. Again, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me through everything and for being such a good God. And please, though, guys, leave me your prayer request and subscribe to the channel and share this as a witness to others for God. Not for me, not for any person, but for the kingdom of God, for his name's sake. So share this, subscribe, uh, receive notifications, and God bless you. And I'm praying God will guide all your steps and ordain them all. All right, God bless you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.